Happy Hump Day, everyone. All right, another snow day here in West Tennessee. Oh, where's my manners? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking the body beat down here, Michael, on this hump day afternoon. Today we're gonna to be doing some elevated deadlifts and some biceps, easy bar lap from the lap curls. There's a name for it, I forgot it. So we're just gonna call it easy bar curl from the lap. Uh, you can put the proper name in there if you'd like in the comments. So uh, yeah, today doing some elevated deadlifts and uh, starting out with 135. And uh, of course that's what I always do. I always like to get a good warm up, get my big old belly used to bending over and uh, moving some weight. Stupid old belly. Oh well, I think it's pretty sometimes. No, not really. Anyway, enough about the belly. Jeez. Anywho, on to set number two. Or as I like to call it in Spanish, uh, two. Uh, we're going to do a few little reps here, guys. Uh, I don't overdo it on the warm-up reps. I like to just kind of slowly work myself up into the, into the sets, into the weightages. And uh, that's what we're doing here. So 135 for six again. And look at there, just like magic, we got two more 45s on there, so that's a total of 225. And uh, yeah, so once we hit 225, we're, we're starting to warm up a little bit more. 225 is a good warm up. And, uh, 225 is just that perfect all around weight. I love 225, it's my best friend. So, anywho, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, another snow day today, so, uh, and we're going to have another one uh, Thursday and Friday, so we're out all week. So, that's fine with me. Hey, I get paid regardless. So, working for the school system, you, you kind of get paid regardless. So, that's good. And, uh, anyway, we got 315 here. Uh, I think we're just going to get maybe two reps. Again, you don't want to wear yourself out when you're working your way up to a heavy set. You just want to get a warm up. You want your body to get used to moving, especially when you've been sitting around all day and laying around all day like I've been doing. You gotta get the old body used to moving just a little bit. It was 405, moved pretty decent. And then you notice right there we threw some 35s on the end, which makes it uh, 300 or 475. So 405 plus 70 should be uh, 475 and you're also going to notice how i get a little bit wonky on my lifts see how i turn a lot of times when i get up heavy like that i end up turning i don't like that but it's just kind of my mechanics i think sometimes i just you know i try to be mindful of it but it don't help sometimes you'll notice we're going to go ahead and do another set of 475 which is really uh, pretty surprising to me. I wasn't sure what I was going to do today. And you'll notice that nice little turn there. Uh, I just like to do that, you know, just to show off, you know, show myself that I can turn you know, to the left. I, I guess I could be a, a supermodel. I can turn to the left. Anyway, and you'll notice now we're going back down to 405. And, uh, that's always a good thing. When you're, when you're heading back down the ladder, that's good. Number one, that means that you reached where you were headed. You might not have been successful, but you got there. And now you're getting to work your, your, your way back down. So that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, we're back down to 315 already. Holy smokes, we are moving right along, guys. 315 on the way down. I think we're going to get a set of four. I have noticed that it's harder for me to do a lot of reps anymore, and I wonder if that might be... Uh, partly because I don't walk anymore. You know, I used to do my daily walks for years. Uh, I walked every single day. And uh, I think, you know, that kind of helps your cardio. And not only that, well, the New Year's Eve, once I reached my 500 pound deadlift goal, uh, also I think that that played a, a strong, pivotal point in my uh, mental status as far as deadlifts go. I feel kind of like I'm accomplished and done. And uh, I'm scared that it's going to hold me back. So hopefully I'm going to break through that and 
you know, still be able to go heavy and, and do some reps and just kind of get back to where I feel a little normal. And we're down to 225 here, and you'll notice I took a step up there. I wanted to go from the floor and uh, go ahead and finish up from the floor with this set since I, I felt pretty good about what I did. So we'll go ahead and go from the floor on this last set of 10. And I uh, felt pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good week so far, being safe out there if you're having the crazy weather like uh, a lot of us are having. Uh, hope, uh, hope you got your milk and your bread and uh, whatever else it is, is uh, that all the people went and got out of the stores. My wife went today and said they had zero of anything at uh, like two different stores. So people are crazy. Anytime anything happens, people are crazy. So here we are, we got 65 pounds here. The bar is 15, those are 25s. And I've only done this movement probably a couple of other times. And I think I've seen it from another uh, YouTuber, Lone Star Minotaur. And uh, I think that's who I've seen it from. And uh, so I haven't done these in a long time and I thought, well, today seems like a good day to do something a little different. And I'll be honest with you guys, uh, the range of motion that you see on this is just about all you need to work out the bicep. Anything much further down than that, and you just, I think it's a lot of wasted movement, a lot of wasted time, a little bit more stress maybe on the elbows and shoulders, and I don't know. That's just, that's, with all my years lifting, I, I'm kind of glad that I was introduced to this movement, because sometimes, you know, I think about it, and I want to I want to do it because I think it's if done, you know, slow and controlled like I'm doing it here, I think it does really pretty good. It also works the heck out of my forearms. My forearms were pumping uh, by the time I was done. So it's a, it's a pretty interesting little movement. And if you haven't, if you've never tried these, go ahead and give them a shot. And uh, uh, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to go up any heavier than 65 today. And also, you'll notice on this set here, I got in uh, for a narrow grip. Now, I didn't want to do any more. I was going to do another set or two of narrow, but I don't like the way it feels on my wrists and my elbows here. Uh, I got kind of bad wrists and elbows anyway, and it just kind of feels like a little bit, you know, I don't like the way it felt there, so uh, we'll go back out wide again. And uh, it's good to listen to your, to your body and, and uh, you know, don't, don't continue doing something if it just don't feel totally right. You know, if there's another way to do it, go ahead and do it the other way. So, yeah. Uh, again, biceps felt pretty good here. And uh, like I said, my forearms were uh, hard as a rock by the time I was done. And, uh, yeah, pretty good workout today, guys. Uh, not too bad. I took a late nap, like a big old dummy again. Once I get off schedule, uh, when we're out of school for any amount of time, holidays or anything like that, my schedule gets all kind of wonky and I get a little off schedule sometimes. You know, I don't mind taking a nap every day, but I like to do it in the morning after, you know, after I eat breakfast and mess around on the computer and spin on my bike. Then I'll go and usually take a nap somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning. But uh, once, when we're out of school, I, I kind of get all over the place. Uh, and I don't like that. That's what I don't like about being at school. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think this is going to be about the last set here of these. And uh, again, it feels pretty good. I'm glad I chose to do these today. Uh, it also takes a lot of the stress off my back. Because sometimes when I stand up and do curls, it hurts my back. Uh, even doing lightweight because I just... You know, I have a bad back anyway, and plus I tense my back up really, really hard trying to stay in, you know, a little bit better form and, and all that. It just it kind of aggravates my back doing curls sometimes when it really shouldn't. So, uh, yeah, anyway, and that's where we're finishing up, guys. And, uh, yeah, again, I hope you have a good day, good week, good month, good year, all that good stuff. Reach all your goals. Make make some goals. Reach some goals. That's kind of how we do it. And, uh, see, not too bad of a little workout. You can pause right there and take a look. See, not too bad. I'm happy. So that's all you can ask for. 
But guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. And, uh, you know, maybe, come on, Mike, do it for all of them. Get up, get out, get rad, do it, do it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Everybody, we'll see you. Peace. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it.